this camera, this camera, or this camera. Let, Let the, the people, people know what you have going on in your life. life. Today, I'm going to show you how to run your A10 Mini on batteries and stream over 4G in the cheapest way possible. Like, seriously cheap. About 30 quid in my case. So let's get into it. This project is basically an extension of my last video, where I figured out how to live stream from my GH5 using a cheap capture card plugged into my Android phone. It's all thanks to an app called Camerafy Live, and if you missed that one, there should be a link on the screen right now. So what's better than that? Well, multiple cameras, of course. So today we're using the A10 Mini to take up to four HDMI inputs and do the same thing. If you're not familiar with the ATEM, there's thousands of great YouTube videos on this already. So I'm not going to explain too much. But basically, it's a tiny broadcast camera switcher at an affordable price. And it's really, really good. Connecting the ATEM Mini to the CameraFi Live app is super easy. The ATEM puts out a USB webcam signal from its USB-C port. So if you hook it up directly via OTG, it should be recognized straight away. For some reason though, I found that this method gave me massive audio delay on my streams. Camerafy actually lets you correct audio sync within the app, up to plus or minus one second. After struggling with this for quite a while, I tried using the A10 Mini's HDMI out into the cheap capture card, and suddenly all my sync issues were gone. Bit of a weird one, but at least this works. Now this setup is pretty awesome, as instead of a laptop, we can use our Android phone or tablet to broadcast over 4G or Wi-Fi. I've been having a lot of fun with it. I even connected up my old GL2 with an AV to HDMI adapter, and it just works. However, there's still one pretty big obstacle we have to overcome. The A10 Mini requires mains power to run. Or does it? I actually found a few people on YouTube who've created portable battery solutions for the A10 Mini. But they were either using expensive V-mount batteries, which I don't own, or expensive mains outlet power banks, which are very expensive. You could run it off a generator too, I suppose, but that's a bit loud and cumbersome for me. After a bit of research, I realized the A10 Mini power supply falls into a pretty common USB-C power delivery spec, 12 volts and 1.5 amps. This specification, which is mainly designed for people who want to top up their laptop batteries from a power bank, is getting more and more common, which means products with USB-C power delivery are getting cheaper all the time. I found this TechNet power bank for just 13 quid, and it supports 12 volt, 1.5 amp power delivery. Then I found a USB-C to barrel jack cable that was the correct size for the ATEM and thought, jobs are good un. Well, that didn't work. After a bit more research, I realized that the way USB-C power delivery works is that it requires a chip that tells the power supply what voltage it needs. Otherwise, it just puts out five volts like a normal USB socket, hence the ATEM not turning on. I eventually found a product on Amazon called the Power Pipe. It looks the same as the cable I purchased, but it has the required chip telling the power bank to send 12 volts. I'm sure it's great, but it's 30 quid, which seemed a little steep to me. After digging some more, I learned about a little circuit board that goes by the catchy name ZY12PDN. These boards are widely available on sites like Amazon and usually come with little screw terminals, so you don't even need to know how to solder. All it does is talk to the power supply and tell it what voltage to send. There's a female USB-C port on one side and a positive and negative terminal on the other. A little button on the PCB allows you to select your output voltage and you can program it to stay on the required voltage. If you want to know more about this board, I found a great video from Kenneth Finnegan which goes into details. I'll link that down below. I chopped the end off my useless USB-C to barrel jack cable and soldered the wires to the PCB. I programmed it to only send 12 volts and we're good to go. Because I'm a nerd, I 3D printed an enclosure to make it look neat, but some heat shrink or lecky tape would do the job too. If all this geek shit has got you sweating, don't worry. The power pipe will work just fine. I'm just saving myself 20 quid in return for a life wasted on tinkering. So that's about it. A portable A10 mini setup with 4G streaming capabilities for about 30 quid. Excluding the cost of the A10 and all the cameras in that. But hey, I think it's pretty neat. Of course, if you wanted to do any longer length streams, you will definitely need a bigger power bank than the cheapo one I used. But I'm just stoked it worked. I was actually quite surprised I had it running for over an hour during my testing, and there was still lots of juice left. So that's it for this one. I hope you found it useful. It's definitely the cheapest method I've come across, but if you have any other ideas, please let me know in the comments. Hit subscribe to stay in the loop for future videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Toodles.
Thank you.